hello lovely people welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i made this love beds here hope you can see that very nice slippers yeah. see so in today's video this is what i'm going to show you but please before we even start the video give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not and after subscribing hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video so we will be needing our slippers of course this is rubber okay yeah but you can see that it was a sandals and then i have cut the straps at the back have the scissors plier and of course you beat and I'll be using 0 0.4 together with my needle for the sewing and then I'll use 0 0.6 for the weaving so let's get started so I have cut out my fishing line I'll pick four I know most of you are familiar with this method or with this bead weaving so it's not anything difficult for you now so I pick four this is three and then I will cross the fourth bead but for my new subscribers or for those of you who are beginners for your sake I will try and elaborate more on it so that is the beginning so next i'll pick three first we pick four then we cross the fourth one now i'll pick three put one on the left fishing line one on the right fishing line and then i will cross the third one so crossing this is how it says so this one is coming out from this end so i will enter this view so that this this fishing line will also come out from the opposite side like this so you hold the ends together to make sure you have equal length of the fishing line so you're gonna continue like this so we get to nine. We have our nine now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we are going to turn with the tenth one. So I'll pick three, but this time I will put two on any side of the fishing line and then I will cross the third bead. So we have something like this now so you can see that we have the bead that our fishing lines are coming out from on the side so this will make it possible for us to do the second line so to start the second line so this is my right fishing line and this is my left fishing line so I'll pick three beads okay and then I'll put two on the left fishing line like this and then I'll cross the third bead I hope it's clear if it's not clear you can slow down the video and you will understand it so next I passed or I entered this bead here with my right fishing line then I'm going to pick two beads. One on the left fishing line and I'll cross the second one. Like this. So I'll once again enter the next the next bead on my right. That is this bead here. 
repeat two again one on the left and then I'll cross the second bead so continue like that so you get to the end here You can slow down the video on YouTube. If you don't know how to do it, you can search it on YouTube and you know. So that anytime I forward my videos, it won't be like you. I'm going too fast and you don't understand. You can slow it as slow as you want. As slow as you will understand. So here I'm going to turn once again to start my third line. We need only three lines or three rows, so we have two. So I'm going to turn and do the third line. So I will enter the bead here with my right fashion line and then pick two beads. Now put one on the right fashion line. That is the fashion line I entered this bead with. And then I will cause the second bead. After crossing, you see that your right fishing line will now be your left fishing line. And then I'll pick three, then put two on the fishing line in my left hand. So if I say right fishing line or left fishing line, what I mean is that the fishing line in my right hand or the fishing line in my left hand. Okay. They will continue with the same process to get to this end. So I use the same process, the same procedure to do this. But this is 10 by 3 and this is 25 by 3. So when starting, instead of 10, you do it 25 long and then you continue with the other lines. You can reverse the video to know how I did it. So now I'm going to join this to this piece. So I will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then same here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that it will be left with the three beats here. Hope you can see that these three beats, one, two, three. Huh. So that is where I'm going to join my piece. So I'll pick one bead and fix it on this side of the fishing line. Okay. I have missed the three that I just counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so here. And then you enter the first bead of the thread that we left in the middle. Hope you understand what I'm saying. And now you just pick one and cross. You enter the next bead on your right with your right fishing line. And then you enter the next bead on your left with your left fishing line. Hope that is clear. And then I'll pick one and cross it. Good. If you want an online tutorial, personal one five eight one, you can contact me on any of my social media handles or my whatsapp line is also in the description box you can link up so that we talk about it okay so here i'll just pick one bead and i will tie a knot so here i didn't cross it but i'm tying a knot Then after that, I'll pass my fishing line through some few beads. So, 
and we don't want our nozzle here to be this flat so i'm just going to make something like one b so i entered the middle bead here then i pick three beads one two and three and i'll just tie okay so we are done with the weaving part so now let's move on to sewing yes so as you can see i have cut this from the strap because it was too short for me so i have cut it so now let's go ahead and sew it on this slippers like this okay so I have already threaded my needle so I will just go ahead but before that I would like to pass through some few bits in order to secure my thread before And when it the needle come out again, I will enter this be so I'm sewing. See you have we have three lines, so I'm sewing only the middle line on the slippers. Okay, so I have unentered this bit, so I'll enter this one. Then enter this side bead. And so hope you understand what I'm doing. This if you don't understand, like I have said earlier, slow it down. Again, I'll enter this B here. Yeah. 
but it, it depends on how you want to sew it all that you have to be aware of or all that you have to know is that at the end of the day what you have sewn will last longer okay so it just depends on how you sew it Continue like this till I get to the other end. Like I have said earlier, it all depends on you how you want to sew it. But this is how I sew mine. So at the end of the day, you will see the fishing line inside here. Okay. So I'll continue and let me show you. When I'm done sewing this part, so I'm done sewing it. So I'll just enter few beads, tie a knot, and then cut it. So, as you can see, I'm done, and you can see the fishing line inside here. Okay, but since it's inside, it doesn't matter. So now let's come to the last part of this letter. So like I said earlier, I cut this because it was too short for me. So I'm going to count one, two, and then start sewing from there. Like this, so you can see the space here. and then I'll start sewing with the same procedure or the same sewing method Do not worry, it's because it's the first day. Then we are back on track. So I'm going to tie it. And then continue with the sewing. The same thing how we did we sew this part. And here we are, I'm done sewing it. So I'll enter some few beads, tie knots, and cut. And Ebenezer, 
this is how far the Lord has brought us. So, I already made the other one off camera. And so we are done. Da -da -da -da. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you all. And please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, and to my new subscribers, please visit my channel and you will see a whole lot of amazing videos. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.